Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring on Playframe and SideQuest, etc. We're going to be heading eastward today, eventually back to that red, scary area, but first to Stormhill. Stormhill feels much safer and less deadly. It, I mean, not true, but it feels that way to me right now. First, though, I want to rest here because not only might I be able to possibly get a level. Nope. That's fine. The other thing I noticed here in the menu in between episodes was this great runes uh, thing. This is how I can do this. <laughs> With the great rune menu, you can equip great runes that have had their power restored. You can use a rune arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped great runes. Oh, neat. Okay. So... Uh, this just raises all attributes. Let's equip it. Boom. Nice. And I guess if... Can I alter these garments too? No, there's just a couple of them that are alterable right now. That's fine. Uh, so I don't know how much... It, whoop, not what I meant. To, I was trying to show my UI. Hang on. So... All right. It does show that I've got a rune equipped now. Is it easy to see how my attributes are being improved right now? Not really. That's fine. I mean, so long as the numbers are bigger, that's really all I care about. But then... I could, on top of that, use a rune arc and, I guess, get an even bigger effect from it. I should look up what the specifics are uh, for what this rune does on its own and when combined with a rune arc, because that's neat. Is there anything else in this menu I want to do before we move on? Possibly. I'm liking my flask uh, mix here. Restoring half of max HP and raising stamina. What was the other option? Uh, enhances charge attacks for a time and mixed physic. I'm using jump attacks more often, so if I can get one that... Like, uh, increases jump attacks even more. I might go for that, but for now this is a good, this is a good combo. We'll stick with this. Uh, good. I think we're good here. I don't think I have any more... We're gonna check, just because... I have a history of forgetting. But no, okay. Great. Is there another Ash of War we want to try here? On this sword. So we're using Wild Strikes, which just has us being a standard greatsword. We could make this a heavy one which would not uh, influence our... So this is the one we have equipped right now, is it? Right? Yes. Yes, it is. And if we swapped to... All right, so we're on heavy now. That's what standard would be. Uh, sorry, I'm still just learning to read this interface, which is not the easiest to parse. At first, I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. What options are within here? Blood and standard, which... Interesting. The scaling will get worse. I know scaling's probably not making a huge difference this early on in the game. Later it will. Uh, it feels like blood would be a uh, affinity that would be better applied to like a faster dexterity type weapon, right? Or just a faster weapon in general. Uh, standard and magic for gravitas. Cancel. Uh, Stormcaller is standard and quality. I'd kind of like to keep heavy. Like, stick with the weapon's strengths, you know? So I could use Stamp Sweep instead of the Wild Strikes. Let's try it out. We can, because we can do this without changing anything else, really. So we can just give it a shot. Stamp Sweep. Sure. Let's see what that uh, looks like. Stamp Sweep. Cool. Okay, so like, you can just, oh, so you can follow it up with an R2. That's pretty cool. All right. Don't know if I like that better than my wild strikes, but it will, we'll use it for the moment. Okay, and there I bet, yeah, that's the statue that would probably have pointed to these catacombs over here to let me know they were here. Neat. All right. Anything else up here that I should be aware of? Especially if it's anything that would, um... 
give me some interesting route to the big Colosseum that I don't understand. It's kind of feeling like no. That's fine. That'll be a mystery for someday. Ooh, a Lance Talisman. What does that one do? Enhances attacks on horseback. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know what? I'm going to be on horseback a lot probably today. Let's equip it. Eh, could just go with both of these. Why not? Got a decent amount of HP. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Jumping attacks and mounted attacks boosted. I like it. There doesn't appear to be much else of note up here on this cliff area that I can see. Hey guys, uh, anything going on? What's up? Hey. Stop it. I'm gonna get unmounted. This is just a little dangerous right now. Okay. A little near a cliff for my liking. Yeah, I think I've about covered this stuff up here. Which works just fine for me. That's a bit of a drop. I'll probably just warp somewhere safer. Yeah, well, maybe I can jump down. Hang on. I can jump down from here. This will be fine. Yeah. Oh, I could jump up from here, too. Goodness. That would have been much easier. Did I ever clear out this camp down here? I'm not sure I did. I ran through it and attacked some random things, but let's, uh... properly clear it out, just in case. There's some sort of chest we want to rob or something. There's definitely some sturdier knights around, like this one. There we go. But we're getting strong enough now to where this area is... Ah, see, there's a chest. Nice. We're getting strong enough now to where this area is not super threatening. Which is nice. Because I'm sure soon we'll be in other areas that are super threatening. Just all the time. There's something up there. How would I get up there? Yep, come on. It's gotta be a way. Here, er, maybe from up there? Yeah, maybe from up there. Anyone else in the meantime? Pay better attention, guy. Give me this. Maybe I should stay mounted up, but it's working fine for the moment. Stop throwing fire. Come on. Oh, still. There we go. It feels nice feeling not only slightly more competent, but also a good bit stronger. A nice brief reprieve from fear. Okay, what's this about? Ooh, nice! Beast Crest Heater Shield. How does that compare to what I've been using? Because this brass shield's been doing pretty darn good. Uh, worse... I mean, good physical still. Worse for just about everything else. A little bit lighter weight. And... Uh, then it would have the parry skill instead of the no skill, which I'm I'm kind of favoring the no skill right now, honestly. I'm going to stick with that. But if I want to be able to parry, then I'll just swap to the, that other shield, because that seems decent enough. All right. I'm not seeing much else around here. Well, 
No. Nope, I think it's time to head further east. Hello? Yep. Can you hear me? What? Help yes. Me. I'm stuck. Okay. Hello? Hello? I'm enjoying having NPCs actually call out now. Hello? Um. <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Hello? Haven't really run into Anyone? a talking one of you before. Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Ah, uh, let's do. My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. <laughs> give it your all, I say. I like them. Let's, um... If you're sure. Uh, big hit. Here we go. Did it work? Um, didn't seem to work. Don't stop now, friend. I'm gonna just keep clobbering away at the old behind. Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Okay. You're the pot boss. Here we go. There we go. Triumphant delight. You okay? <laughs> I think we've made a pretty good friend here. Ah, well played, good lady. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And... As a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Ooh, exalted flesh. Nice. Nice to meet you. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior Jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. Same. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. Ooh. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? A little bit. <laughs> You're gonna be okay in there, or even getting there? I'm heading eastward. To Redmain Castle, on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. All right then, and that's all you got to say, right? I'm heading yes. to Redmain. I've heard. Pleasure to meet you, Alex. Less pleased to be meeting these here. Alexander the Warrior Jar. <laughs> What a find. Um. Kind of just want to cross the bridge here. I'll look south just a little bit. Just in case. There's something obvious. Just in case. Not stopping to fight. Just looking around. Window shopping, you might say. Eh. Doesn't seem like much. Okay. Okay. Let's get down to this here bridge and ooh, this first though. Perfect. Oh geez. Hey, it's another one of those guys. Cool. All right. Uh, let's deal with it, I suppose. 
best we can. Not sure how mounted combat will do for this, but why not? Let's try. Seems very mad. Not very sturdy, though. I was expecting... I was expecting a much tougher opponent. Works for me. Hey, Sanctuary Stone. Nice. All right. Eastward we go. I guess to just more Limgrave. I guess Stormhill's just this raised up chunk here. Well, well, nice. Glad we pretty much covered it. Like, I'm sure there's stuff I missed, but there's stuff I missed everywhere. That's, that's Elden Ring. Like, I'm trying to be thorough, but if I... Um, if I slowed down... Hey! If I slowed down to thoroughly explore every single nook and cranny, this series might never end. And it's gotta end someday. Which is gonna be a long time from now, even still, at this rate, so... A lot of interesting skeletons here. Nope. Nope. Just skeleton whack-a-mole over here. Okay. Good. Didn't see this fire earlier. Is this anything? Oh, hey. Nice. All right. Ooh, wait, are you playing your instrument? You are. Cool. That's neat. I've seen them all holding those, but I haven't seen them actually play it. Oh, dear. Hello. Am I, I terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? That I am. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, pickled turtleneck. Temporarily boost stamina recovery. Smithing stones. Hey, you can just buy those now. Nice. A cracked pot, which I should probably buy. This, which I should almost definitely... Unless I have it. No, I don't have this. Okay, let's get this, which will teach us pickled turtleneck and po poison bone arrows and bolts. Uh, short sword. Bandit mask. And... Flame chariots. All right, sure, I'll take this one and this one. Oops, this one. And probably should grab this one too, just because. There we go. Nice. Oh, I must apologize. I, oh, I, don't. I'm, I'm afraid I've very little to offer. Disagree. You had some good stuff. Nice to meet you. Hey, turtle. So. Uh. There's some stuff up here, but this is definitely my main destination right now. So what's this up here stuff I'm seeing? This over here, I guess. Hello? Might just be ruins. Oop. With skeletons. I wonder, are the skeletons, like, out at all hours, or is this, like, a nighttime only thing? Knock it off. Bad skeletons. Stay dead. You literally have a single responsibility as a skeleton. And you are all failing. There's something. Something glowy over there. And that is where I'm headed, so okay. Definitely a point of interest of some sort. Let's see what's up.
Huh. Summon Water Village. What is that thing? Hey, what are you? Cool. Oh, you're a boss. A tibia mariner. Neat. I, uh... Shouldn't have been nosy, I suppose. Oh, there you are. Uh-oh. Oh, you're summoning things, aren't you? Please don't. Oh, you're summoning skeletons. I don't like that. And now you're probably casting a spell that I don't like. But it mostly hurt the skeletons, which I appreciate. This is interesting. Ow, okay. Oh, geez, look out. Look out, look out. Get a little distance. Approach this strategically. Do these stay dead? They're summoned. Do the rules vary? No, I think it's the same. Okay. Might be getting in and over our head here. Whoa, that's a skull? What's the skull do? Gow. Explodes. Okay. <laughs> Don't get near the skulls. This is a neat boss. There we go. Let's keep the herd thinned out here if we can. Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you run off to? Is this you? Here we are. Where are you running? Yeah, see, like, this is a boss fight that, if you don't have a horse, almost wouldn't even work. Go down. Woo. Don't want to get hit by that. Gow. Cool. That was really cool. Hey, more death root, too. And skeletal militiamen ashes. Neat. Are those good? Uh. Well, I've got enough FP for them, and they're better than the wandering noble ashes, it seems like. Summons two skeletal militiamen spirits. Uh, these are the spirits of militiamen who live in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is the grotesque fate of those who come into contact with Deathroot. Ah, I see. Is that what happened here? Let's poke around a bit, see what we find. It's a bit dark. Might have to do this off the horse. Pretty place. Oop. Here we go. And you just know there's going to be a cave or a chest or something around here. Oop, didn't see you. Didn't see you. A very pretty location, but no great finds as of yet. But it also feels like the ruins are sort of, like, split up into sections here. There's something glowing over there. So yeah, like, I went through all- you can't even really see it all that well in the dark, but a bunch of ruins over that away that I just ran through and didn't find anything. More over here. And a turtle. And one of these, uh-huh. I've only got one more of these keys, though. And I still haven't been able to deal with the one... <laughs> ...stone sword key place I've opened.
This looks pretty significant. But still not finding much. Hmm, maybe I should just go use the key. Yeah, even with the sun starting to come out, I'm uh, not seeing anything else other than this one. So, since we have found it, since it does seem like uh, we're only going to need one key here, why not? Let's see about it. Maybe we won't regret this one as much. Maybe. Hello, turtle. It's real dark in here, turtle. How you turtles doing? All good? Sorry, I'm not meaning to disturb your whole thing. Hey, nice! Not even fights. A green turtle talisman. What's that? Raises stamina recovery speed. Ooh, that seems real good. That seems real good. Okay, yeah, let's lose the uh, buh, 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 horseback one. The horseback one is real good, but like... This just seems useful for every situation. Heck yeah. I wonder, like, how significant that effect is. We should test it as soon as I'm not in turtle range. That was one well worth spending. Oh. This isn't even consuming stamina outside of fights. That's pretty cool. Not good for testing, though. That's fine. Let's mount up. And keep heading eastward. We're on a roll. It's very pretty out here. And there's some sort of tower. Hmm, and more swords, like another one of these memorial type things. What do we got? Lord Godfrey, at last, at the end of his campaign, his golden armies unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds graced lost, tattered, and faded. Hmm. These monuments are interesting, and the fact that this place is... Uh-oh. On fire, glowing. I'm getting invaded. I think. Yep, by Anastasia Tarnished Eater. That seems bad. Uh, oh boy. Okay. So that's what you're about. Big sword. Hey, I get it. Ha! Good try with that uh, jumping attack, though. Pretty intimidating. I think I'll do the same. It's my strength, after all. Haha! -ha. Nope. Whiff. Yep, this works pretty good. There you go. Nothing. Not a problem. Recusant Vanquished. We got a Sacred Scorpion Charm, which seems cool. Getting all kinds of neat stuff now. Uh, raises holy attack, but lowers damage negation. Huh. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Pattered onto scorpion, freshly shed of its exoskeleton, its claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. Raises holy attack power, but lowers damage negation. Interesting trade-off. Uh, the green turtle talisman raises stamina recovery speed. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient, symbolic of inexhaustible power. However, those who hold turtles to be wise creatures consider the practice of eating their meat to be barbarous. I am in agreement. I will just use this uh, charm instead. This talisman. Seems better. Why is this on fire? I mean, there's a grace fire in here in the smoldering church, so you'll hear no complaints from me. 
Why smolder, though? Missionary's cookbook. Nomadic warrior's cookbook. These are good finds. Melina, you don't have something to say here, do you? I'd love it if you did. No? Okay. Uh, can I level yet? I can! What should I level, though? Vigor at 20 seems pretty good to start. Uh, strength at 25 seems like a good place to let it be for a little bit. Like, I guess early game, it makes the most sense to really put points into your main strength, the main thing you're focusing on, right? Like, really get good at the core thing you're good at. Then, with that foundation established, you'll be pretty strong, you'll be able to handle a lot of situations, then you can start spreading the points around to other interesting things, right? Like, that seems like good general rule advice. So, uh, let's just keep Vigor going. Let's just be really hard to kill. Uh, keep Vigor going. Vigor, Endurance, and Strength. Just, like, really pour it into those three. And eventually we'll get some more mines so we can summon more interesting things. So, I mean, I kind of want all of these stats as the problem, but I can't have all of them, so let's focus a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Anything else interesting here, other than the invasion, of course? I bet there is. The fact that this place is just magically, it seems, constantly smoldering is interesting. It reminds me of those uh, unfortunate figures we find hanging up on things all the time, who also seem to be magically smoldering, if only at night. I wonder. But maybe we found everything here. Oh, we can do some platforming, maybe, a little bit. And I'm starting to think maybe we should. Hmm. But to where? Not seeing anything over here. Maybe up there could be something? Oh no. We're fine. We're okay. Let me try that again. It looks like there's actually on this side a place to land. Like, almost an intentional spot to jump to. But it's looking pretty empty on this side, so I am thinking that this direction is what I need to be looking at. It's a little tricky controlling the horse platforming. Uh, just a little hard to turn and stuff. <laughs> Can I even see anything? Like, is there a point to that? Hello. Sorry, didn't mean to. I don't know if there's any point to trying to do these jumps, but one more attempt. Hmm. Nah. All right, hang on. It feels like I have to come up this side if it's going to be anything. If there's any direction that's going to work, it's, uh... Ah, uh, horse. You're so bad at this. It's like the horse has better jumps. But terrible turning control. Ah, too far of a jump. Whatever, I'm done here. I'm gonna move on. I'm not even certain there's something up there. The sky is definitely getting red, so I think we're getting pretty close to, uh... Yeah, getting pretty close. 
tree up this way, though. Let's uh, start with that. So, what kind of a situation are you? I don't think I've run into one of you before. And there is more of you. Hmm. It really feels like my stamina is refilling real fast. I'm glad I found this talisman. Maybe it's just my imagination, but it seems like the refill is quick, and I like that. Uh. That's a lot of you. Okay, okay, okay. Someone was saying that I should try using the... Uh, ooh, poisony, huh? Should try using strong attacks while on the horse and holding the button down because, like, you drag the sword for a little while and you can be doing a little damage with it that whole time, which seems pretty cool. Yep, that does work. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but... Some. Chill with the poison, you guys. Yeah. No... No poison. Interesting warriors here. Where are you? Yeah, there you are. Gracious. Careful. There's a lot more of you just hanging out. But that must mean there's something good. Surprise! My horse is up here now. Stop it. Quit with the poison, please. There we go. I see you up there, too. Come on. Is an item there, too? Eh. Maybe if I go around. Eh. Seems a little iffy. Very iffy. Very dangerous and iffy. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. This is a good way to die. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that item that bad. Minor Erd Tree. Hey, we found another. And there's more of these around, these pots. Hello. Putrid Avatar. Yikes. It looks like sort of a, one of the old Dark Souls demon, uh, sort of like, movesets. Hello! I think I'm gonna stay mounted up. Do some of that stick and move nonsense, you know? Yeah, okay, that hurts a lot. Maybe I won't be fighting you yet. Maybe we'll be running past you. You are quite the beefy mess, aren't you? Let's grab those runes and be on our way. Bye. Those are mine. I'm going this way and ignoring you. Because I have the option to do that now, and isn't that nice? Just guarding the tree like a jerk. I don't even know if there's anything I want at this tree. No, just seems to be guarding it. Pardon me, pardon me. Look out. Wow, that's scary looking over there. Whatever it is. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going, I'm going. Just trying to take in the sights. Given the damage I took from that one putrid avatar swing, I think it's safe to say that's a fight worth saving for a little later on. We got a lot more Kaled to check out. Up this way, perhaps. Hello. Yep, enemies are getting a little stronger. This feels about right. Ooh. Bleed damage. Good. Drawstring lightning grease. Neat. Alright, let's get into it. 
More smoldering. Hmm. Very intrigued by all the smoldering. Also intrigued by what that is. There's a grace fire near it. Semi near it. Is it an enemy or someone friendly? It doesn't look friendly. Not one bit. Okay, so we're not... Oh, all right, and we've got a little grace line to work with here, pointing us in that general direction. And it looks like... Okay, so this road... Like, maybe there's a place that this road meets up here. Like, maybe this is the start of a road here that we could start traveling this way. I am starting to wonder, though, given how much steep cliff there is surrounding all this, if we are actually going to need to kind of, like wind all the way through. And I'm kind of tempted to, actually, now that I think about it. Also, this looks like something... Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's poke around here just a little bit first. Goodness, yeah, that just looks really intense. There's no way that's friendly. A nascent butterfly. Huh. We may be due for a description reading before too long here. It's been a bit. Exceedingly rare to find. An arcane butterfly with translucent wings. The, this butterfly appears as if it's just emerged from its cocoon for its entire life. Huh. And a ghost. You're right there. It's rotting. Everything rotting scarlet. The very earth that Caitlin rests upon and Sully, a town of sorcery. The, night, the end is nigh for us all. I admit it doesn't look great out here. And I guess I wasn't here when things went bad, so I shouldn't recommend looking on the bright side or anything. There just might not be one. I guess we'll find out ourselves pretty soon. Let's start poking around. So we're being pointed generally that way. There's another one of these towers that we'll probably have to get ourselves to for a rune once we fight a boss somewhere. It's a whole new area, so let's settle in. The Shack of the Rotting. Hello. Hey. Hey. No. Cool it. Knock it off. Hmm. That was weird. Yeah. Would you quit it? Oh, goodness, you're strong. Yeah, I heard somebody mention that uh, there are some times where a, a fire attack actually, a torch attack actually works well for some enemies like that. Ha! <laughs> it actually does. It's better than my sword. Knock it off. Knock it off. Here we go. Yeesh. Hard to target sometimes. There we go. That was productive. The fact that this little place, like, has a little title card and everything makes it seem kind of significant. Seems just like any old check, though. Hmm. Goodness. A lot of directions. But, this looks interesting. Let's, uh... Poke around down here real fast.
grab some free stuff. Avoid the slimes. Lots of slimes. This place is a mess, huh? It's probably seen better days. It really looks like there was a cave or something around here. Maybe it's, like, below. Accessible further down somehow. Like, down there. Mmm, maybe. Gotta be careful around cliffs, though. See this? This seems like a safer way to approach. Huh? There we go. Here's something. Something. Is this a camp? This is a camp. Goodness. Who are these dudes? What if we just... Bypass a little bit. Yeah. Nice and easy. The Gale Tunnel. Cool. Oop. Oh dear. Uh... Well, okay. Look out. Thank you for holding a torch so we can both see. Real considerate of you. There we go. Hmm. That is a long way down. A long, scary way down. And a lot of deaths. <laughs> well, we could try. Uh, there the, is that one item that, like, reduces fall damage, that craftable one, right? Don't know if I have what I need to make it. Soft cotton. Oh yeah, I can make some soft cotton. I can make a lot of it. Temporarily reduces fall damage and sound. Yeah, let's try. Uh, where... Here you are. Use. Oh, you can see it on my feet. Woo! Oh yeah, this is no problem. No problem. Gotten some stuff. I should really see if my sword can get further upgraded. I've been collecting a lot of neat things. Jump! Oh, boy. Jump! Oh, uh, I think my cotton wore off. I'm still fine, though. I'm okay. We're fine. Yes. Yes. We are resourceful and we are alive! Okay. Let's check this place out. Hmm. There's a dude type I don't recognize. Unless it's another one of those, like, yeah, this might be some more of the, like, mining, stone digging, uh, fellas. Which means my weapon's not going to be ideal for this situation. But maybe with two-handing... And backstab, so oh, too slow. Uh, still strong. Okay, well, I'm not bouncing off of them, but still also not doing great damage against them. Ow.
There we go. Doable. Not ideal, but doable. Is there a better weapon for this that I can't actually wield yet? Oh, I'm like one shy from this one. One strength shy. But I can use the pickaxe, or the large club. The club's probably better. Yeah, let's go with the club. We'll just heavy roll for a bit. Having access to both of these. Because it seems like that's going to be helpful. Sword for the knights. Club for the uh, miners. And it looks like you were trying to sneak up on a thing, too. And there are two of you. Trying to sneak up on one of those. Just all kinds of problems for me. It's a lot of guys, but we're probably going to get a lot of weapon upgrade materials. Oh boy. Quick. I see ya. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now you. Are you something I should be concerned about? Nope. Don't know what these guys were concerned about. Maybe there's more of you. We are going to be upgrading some weapons after this. Time for fire, huh? Oh, I bet uh, fire grease does good. It does! Oh boy. A big one. Shoulda guessed. Yipes. Big and mad. Yikes. Big, bad, and scary. Oh boy. Look out. Let's, uh, grab things and just kind of run. That seems like the thing to do. Cool. Good stuff. Whew. Yipes. Yeah, that fire is not doing a whole lot for me. I'm gonna leave. Bye. I already got what I wanted from this place. I'm done. I am good. Thanks. Now. All right, there's more of you. Hmm. And more of you down there and here. Oof. Need to navigate this sort of carefully. All right, got you. Not quite dead, but close. Club time! Welcome to the club! Alright, could be stronger, but it's not upgraded at all, so... That's kind of neat, so the- ah, okay. Careful, careful. Youch! Gracious. Gah! Too slow. That's kind of neat, so I- Some folks in comments said that, uh, these, uh... These miners are weak to fire, which is interesting because they also wield it, but these soldiers who seem to be kind of like running this place and making the miners work, like, he had fire bombs that he tried to use against me, so like, it's almost like a little bit of storytelling there, that's kind of cool. Let's, we got a lot of uh, upgrade materials, let's go back and see if we can upgrade both our sword, and uh, I could get myself an extra level so I could wield that hammer as well. Let's go back to the hold real fast. Just real quick. Uh... Oh, I can't travel from inside here. I see. I'll have to get myself out first. Somehow. I guess I gotta get to the end. There's no way we're, uh... Climbing out of here. Alright then. So be it. We will just have to get good at Elden Ring. Oh. 
Bonk. 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 There we go. And I bet... Well, let's deal with this guy first. Ah! Didn't quite get to him. Fire! Oh yeah, that works great. And then a bonk! There we go. Come on, you. Nope, throwing fire is my idea. Don't steal the idea. There we go. This will work. It's not an elegant solution, but it is a workable one. Sometimes that's all you need. I really want to steal all these materials down here. If that's all right with y'all. Don't mind if I do. Oof, there's a lot though. We're gonna have to be meticulous. There we go. Y'all, our weapons are going to be getting so much stronger after all this. I see you back here. Don't think I don't. Come on. There we go. Ah, nuts. I made too much ruckus. Whoa, look at you with the fire. I want that ability. So knock it off. Thank you. I've also been informed that if you throw fire at these packs on their backs, they explode. That was cool. Man, these games are great. And kaboom. There we go. Let's get lots of goodies that we've earned. All right, then. This is going reasonably well. For the moment, anyway. Surprise! Get down there. I see you. Don't sneak up! Uncool! Grace Mimic, Large Glintstone Scrap. You know, I bet. Could just use the torch. Look out! Look out! <laughs> that does work. <laughs> uh, amazing. I really hope there's another Grace Fire down here, because, uh... This is a long walk to get down to what's probably eventually a boss. Oh, here we are. At probably a boss. Right through there. Open. Oh. Well, hello. Oh, the esteemed warrior. Where did you spring from? This was supposed to be a dead end, I'm sure of it. What's going on here? A door from thin air. Well, stranger things happen at sea, or so I'm told. But onward to the Kalid Wilds. Ah, that dead end had me rather stumped. <laughs> well, you're welcome. 
So I guess we've got our Siegmeier for this game, huh? <laughs> it's time I set off to the festival at Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet rot blighted Kaelid Wilds. Doesn't the thought just set your heart aflutter? I do feel several emotional reactions, but yeah, it could be one of them. It's time I set off to the festival. That doesn't the thought. All right. Well, I do look forward to seeing you. Good luck with your journey. I'm going to park here for a second. Where am I even? Well, we've really been going a ways. And the path continues, it looks like. But I am a little curious about this boss. We should see about that first. Let me lose this first. Uh, rest. And then... Oh, level up. Nice. Let's do that so we can use our hammer now if we want to. Uh, yeah. Because I think, I suspect... that this battle hammer... Eh. Roughly equivalent to the large club. But a bit cooler, and it has a roar attack. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we end up needing it. Not really sure what kind of... enemy we're facing here. Uh... It could be another, like, kind of beetle-y type thing, similar to what we ran into yesterday, was it? Yeah. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm really, uh, really gonna be counting on you here. No, that's something else. Worse? Magma Worm. Yeah, maybe worse. Possibly worse. Look out. Gracious. This is very strong. Worryingly strong and big. Aurelia, please do help. Oh boy. Look out! Okay. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a one-shot. We will be fighting you later, won't we? Yes, we will. That is kind of the fun thing with Elden Ring, more so than even in uh, the Souls games, because of how open it is. You can totally, like, bounce if you run into a fight that you're not feeling ready for, and go wander off somewhere else, come back once you've leveled up a bunch, and maybe just uh, steamroll some of those early fights that you uh, skipped before. But, because it is so open, you could also get yourself into a fight you are in no way ready for. <laughs> Which is sort of the case here. Let's move on. See where the rest of this cave leads. Oh. Where are we? Back in Limgrave, but where? Oh. Down here. Yeah, I guess we didn't really look around down here, did we? Interesting. Should we? I can kind of do, like, a cursory scan, I suppose. But I am feeling pretty, um... heart set on getting into Kaled now that we've, uh... cracked the seal on that place. Good views, though. Look at all this land we've explored. Not completely, but... a lot of it. Like, a lot, a lot. Yeah, no, I'm, fe I'm feeling ready. I'm feeling ready for Caleb. Let's, uh... Can we get there direct from here? What? I didn't know y'all rolled. Come on now. Ridiculous. Yeah, let's get back up into this... Poison red mess. 
and make ready for Thursday's explorations. I feel like this place is going to be nasty. I just have a feeling. Well, y'all, I hope you're enjoying this still. I certainly am. I will see you on Thursday where we begin a proper exploration of Kaled. Just, I hope you like red. <laughs> Take care until then, everyone. And goodbye. Goodbye.